All right, in this video, we're going to do the walls. So after you have created the walls, you've added all the doors, and you're done with all that stuff, we're going to convert this into an edible poly. That way we can um, add some materials. So we're just going to stick with, you know what, we're going to add baseboards. So we're going to add the baseboard to the bottom to the bottom of all the walls. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we're going to do first is make sure that we're in orthographic. So you press U to be in orthographic, and we're going to go to the side view. So you can press L uh, or F. And if you need to press F3 to get out of wireframe mode or F4, you definitely want edge faces on. So what I'm going to do is just cut. We've quick sliced before, and this I'm just going to cut a line all the way through the bottom. Um, that is going to cut a line through every single bit of geometry all the way at the bottom. So everything's going to have this line at the bottom. So I'm going to hit cut. And hold on. I don't want to cut. What do I want to do? Split. I want to slice plane. So I think we're going to have to go into polygon mode for that. Slice plane. I'm going to move this down. That looks good for a baseboard I can orbit around and check. Let's see. I think that should be good. So I'm now going to go ahead and click slice. Did that work? Cut. Did that work? I don't know. I don't think so. So let's do slice plane again. Slice. Should have worked. Why is that not working? Oh, you gotta click here. Duh. Right? Nope, that's not it. Why is this not working? See you at the... Huh, that should be working. I'm thinking maybe since it was a wall and now it's an edible poly, it's not working. It shouldn't have to be... Huh, maybe that's that's the way you do it right there. Just quick slice the way I just did it. I don't know why the slice plane. So I'm sorry this video just got a little bit longer than it needed to. Uh, but that's all you have to do. So that's pretty easy. So now what we're going to do, <coughs> excuse me, is we're just going to keep it simple. Are we though? It'll look better if we extrude these polygons won't it now nah, we'll just keep it simple so now what I'm gonna do in a room so I'm just gonna call this a room here Looks like I need some geometry cut. So when I select this wall, I don't want this whole back plane. Some of you are going to have this issue. So the easiest way to fix this, when I press uh, Alt X, I can see that the geometry is not on this back wall here in, in the wall system. So when I press um, Alt X again, I know I need, I want a line right here. So Alt X just allows me to line this line up. So I'm going to go ahead get out of polygon mode, go back to editable poly here, and I'm going to quick slice. Where is quick slice here? Right over top of that. So now I should be able to, in polygon mode, select this wall. Yep. So the same thing happened on... 
looks like this wall, so I just need to do the same thing on this wall. So it looks like right through here I need the same thing. So if I click on Quick Slice, I want a line right through here. So now, on this wall, I'm good. Okay, so you're probably going to have that happen a couple times. That's how you fix it. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see here. I think I can take this section of wall and move it back. Okay, so I'm select this, this, this. Looks like I need to select this section of wall. Okay, that section is just going to be a little bit funky. You can go in there and target weld this stuff. If you ever have a problem like this and you really want to fix it, I can show you how to do it. But for the sake of this video, to keep it short, I am not going to do that. So I'm going to leave this wall alone. I'm just going to go through here and keep it as simple as possible. And this is all going to be one color here. And I'm leaving the baseboards alone. So I'm going to press M. <coughs> And I'm going to keep the, the color palette pretty simple. Um, this is an interior design class, but... Uh, if you wanted to, you could do something like this. Um, so I'm probably going to use this. And I'm going to save this. Excuse me. I'm going to save this image. And I'm going to add it into the scene on a plane so I can choose those colors. So I'm going to get out of editable poly and I'm going to create a big plane here that I'm going to delete eventually. This is just to help me make colors. So coming back to this object here. See you later Sam. <coughs> Press 4 to go back into polygons and all these polygons should still be selected. And now I'm going to create that color palette here. You don't have to do this but it'll look a lot nicer if you do. Unless anybody in class has a history of stuttering, studying color. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new material. Boom. And I'm going to use a color picker to select a color off of this image here. So it's pretty easy. You just go and open up Diffuse and you click on the little eyedropper. And in that room I think I'm going to go with, let's say, this color here. Now drag this to there. Boom. Okay, now I think I'm going to go through and select the hallway. Your hallway obviously will have doors. Mine doesn't because I just used this really quick as an example. So let's add another material. And this will be the last one I do. I'm assuming this is enough information. You can hold shift and drag a new material. This is enough information for you to go do your own. The rest of it, so everything has to have a color on the walls. You can't just use gray or the standard colors. So now let's use in the hallway to lighten up the mood a little bit. Maybe darken it up. Bam. Okay. So when I press F9, you see I have some colors here and then I've got some colors on the in the hallway. Alright, I'm going to add that is wall colors. So now in that is the end of this video.